When the whole world was busy seeing the falling apple, Newton discovered the law of gravitation. When most of people gushed at the moon and stars, Van Gogh saw his starry night. Where we saw only steam, James Watt visualized the steam engine and made our lives easier. Everybody made paper planes as a kid, but it was Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam who could design actual missiles from them. All these geniuses changed the world around them. Their unique thinking and imagination made it possible for them to see beyond the ordinary and leave behind creations that will continue to amaze humankind. Your children have talent, a unique potential. They merely need to discover it. Welcome to Mount Litra Z School. Here we help children discover their unique potential and achieve their true potential. We create tomorrow's leaders today. Leaders in their respective fields of interest. Leaders who will be able to excel in dynamic environment of the 21st century. Let us recite the leader anthem. Creativity is seeing the same thing as everybody else, but thinking of something different. I want to be a musician. At the core of the heart of Mount Literacy School's philosophy lies one aspect. We believe in doing what is right for the child. The child is the center of everything we do. We identify, nurture and hone students' potentials and help students achieve their true potential. Emergent student profile is our promise and our goal. Tomorrow's leaders are today's students. Tomorrow's preparation begins today here at Mount Litra Z School. I am the future astronaut. I want to be a football player. I want to be a painter. I want to become a doctor. I want to be a dancer. I want to become an actress. I want to be a CA. Emergent student profile is an outcome of all the knowledge, skills and values coming together. Here at Mount Litra Z School, we use a continuous 360 degree process to transform our students. We are not just role numbers, we are unique individuals. We all are talented. Mount Litra Z School figures out where the talent lies in each one of us. Our school develops us into complete individuals. The school is not here to just complete the syllabus. Our parents are equal partners in our development. Learning is not broken into parts here. It's not just about bringing out the children's potential, but many other aspects which turn our children into extraordinary leaders like Leadership qualities Media literacy Aesthetic sense Self-management Motivation Behind the emergent student profile, lies the Litra Octave, an eight-pronged approach to activate the transformation in every child. A holistic transformation is the goal. Let us look at how this extraordinary transformation takes place at Mount Litra. It is very natural for us to see Rishabh becoming a football player. We have seen him from the kindergarten. 
and he used to balance objects on his head, legs and feet. At times, when his friends wouldn't join him, he would practice against a wall all alone. Slowly, the school realized that he got tired playing football alone while his friends played other popular games. During the parent meeting in Mount Literazi school, his parents told this to his teachers. Today he's found his passion in football. Every child is a unique individual and we are here to help them grow into the unique personalities they are. We are not here to make them into the bonsais we like. Swati, she gifted me this book called Good and Assure and Back. It had nothing about football. But it has everything to do with football. From that day onwards, things became fun. He started connecting every subject to football. Every ball has hexagons. Hexagons lies in honeycomb, human eyes, and in so many places. Hexagons are useful to me for planning how to play on the field, defense, mid, and attack. And I'm sure that he thinks the entire penalty system as playing football match or balancing each other. Like any child, Fazil was making different things with paper and uh, he was making things in a different way. Actually, we thought it was a very casual activity, making paper planes, paper bowls, etc. and other things. When Fazil joined our school, his parents told us about his hobbies. We are doing our best, as we do with all the children. Every child has a unique mind, as Fazil has. So, we allowed Fazil to be himself and nurtured his hobbies in all possible ways. The teachers introduced Faisal to many great architects. He also learned about Carboze and Gaudi, which changed his life completely. But it was really a big surprise for us when we saw he is creating something different and interestingly mm, complex structures. And uh, it was amazing as well as we didn't even know how to make, what to make out of it. As Faisal started geometry along with mathematics and arts, the building structure started appearing with precision in his notebooks. Teachers from math, science and arts interacted and made a 360 degree approach for him to develop his strengths. He started taking interest and started applying his knowledge of these subjects in his structures. A small boy who used to come up with simple paper structures has finally found his inner voice. We are really happy about him and uh, he has finally decided to become an architect now. Some of the qualities which students imbibe here through Litra Octave are Integrity Entrepreneurship Open-mindedness The poet says to see the world in a grain of sand and heaven in a white flower to hold infinity in the palm of the hand and eternity in an hour What does the poet mean? He means to see bigger things than small things and there are small things and bigger things. So everything in the world is connected. Do you all understand? is uniquely developed for nurturing a child's knowledge, intelligence and creativity. I remember the time when Swati came to us first. She was a very restless and curious child. She was always good in maths and science but needed help in other subjects. And she was always curious to do a number of things at the same time. I still remember the time when Mount Ritter teachers asked me, since when did Swati fall in love with stars? All I remember is the time, some years ago, we went to our native village. She was looking up at the sky, staring at the stars, reciting the poem Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars and making shapes in the sky. She lacked concentration and attention. 
So we devised exercises to make her more focused and find out what was going on in her mind. In Litra content, we use interactive classrooms. We also use technology in the form of e-content and a blended learning approach by diverse modes. We're still trying to figure out methods of trying to help Swati. That's when we decided to try new ways. Swati was always an explorer. She would find patterns and connections everywhere. Our teacher asked me to help her. She became my good friend. She started discovering patterns even in my paintings. Harpreet's painting made Swati discover her passion for finding patterns in the night sky. And simultaneously, through our Litra blended learning design, she understood about universe and stars. That's when she found out her starry night and her twinkle stars. I still remember the time she came running to the class asking, if stars are real, how can I meet them? It is then that I realized that her journey as an astronaut had started. Thanks to the combined effort of all the people at Mount Litra Z School. Let us see how blended learning design happens. The classroom lessons are conveyed through interactive whiteboards and technology. The same lessons are later taken forward through various activities. These physical activities help the students to understand, apply, inculcate and comprehend the whole subject thoroughly. Let us see how blended learning design is helping our students continuously. she came to us, she was generally apprehensive and withdrawn. With time, we discovered that she was a left-hander who was forced to become a right-hander in a previous school. She had a special bent for music because she was a great violinist. But when she was forced to use her right hand, she had lost her interest in music. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. You want to learn music? No, Why? Come, I'll show you something. Gradually, we discovered and we tried that she should regain her original self back. We helped her out morally, emotionally, and we see with time she was improving. We gave her examples of several left-handed geniuses like Leonardo da Vinci, and this helped her regain her original self back. We never realized Minakshi had to go through so much of trouble. She was a very underconfident and a shy kid. Minakshi is my best friend. When she first joined Mount Litrazi School, she was very shy. One day, Shika ma'am was talking about left hand geniuses. That was when we knew opened up. We had to conduct regular parent teacher workshop to realize what her real problem was. We are glad that we did that. And we are glad that we took interest in shaping her confidence and building her personality. Because today when she plays the violin with her left hand, we feel extremely proud and and extremely assured that we did not make any mistake in unlocking her true potential. Now she is very confident and has gone back to using her left hand. One day we heard Minu playing the violin. It was the most beautiful piece of music we ever heard. Today she is one of the most talented left-handed violinists in our school and we are very proud to say that. Her preet was very afraid of Kalas due to an accident that happened with her on one holy. Kalas gave her the skin allergy. Her enemies were the Kalas and she was fighting against them. A child's mind is like an unending universe put into a nutshell. We had to go through various therapy methods to free her from her past trauma. Yes, it takes time, but students here are not just role numbers. 
the unique individuals who need patience and support. Through Litra Teacher, we also have special requirement workshops for teachers to align their approach towards each child in the school. We are very sure that paying personal attention to the whole child and interacting with fellow students and Harpreet's parents made a difference. The time we were able to separate color from her memory of trauma, she started liking colors. She soon discovered her favorite color was green, green from the lawn she played in. After a few months, her favorite color became purple as auntie used to give her lot of brinjal curry in Tiffin. From purple, she moved to blue and from blue, she moved to yellow, yellow of the sunflower and the cornfield. Slowly, the colors on her mind began to come out on paper. She had started painting and eventually through canvas, she started expressing herself. Thanks to Mount Litra Z School, and their networking methodology that we could connect not just to the teachers of this school but to the teachers and the parents of other Mount Litra Z schools across the country. This helped us immensely. Our daughter has become a rainbow in our lives. Her paintings have won many awards and even reproduced in the school magazine. Thanks to Mount Litra Z School, through specially designed activities, we help embed core values, life skills and knowledge so that every student has a chance of evolving into a leader. Every child is unique and it is important to nurture this unique potential. Through Litra Octave, we bring out every child's true potential and help her achieve it. This is what we consider true learning. Preparing tomorrow's leaders through the emergent student profile. Mount Litra Z schools are spread across the country in various locations. We have more than 100 schools spread across the country. To see the world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of the hand and eternity in an hour. Mount Litra Z School. Great school, great future.